welcome to WTTPS News. I'm your anchorwoman, AJ Marie, giving you all the latest stories for the month of September. Now let's get into my shadow of the month. So my shout out this month goes to the fierce Tracy Ellis Ross. Not only was she slain at the Emmys, but she also was making history. So Miss Ross is the first African American woman in 30 years to be nominated for an Emmy for lead actress for her hit show Blackish. The last woman to receive this award is Felicia Rashad for her role in The Cosby Show in 1986. I am so proud of her, and she is just winning. That's it. So let's get on with the gossip of the month. So first, I want to congratulate veterans of The Voice, Adam Levine and Pharrell Williams. So Adam Levine and wife, Bahada Prinsloo, are welcoming their baby girl, Dusty Rose, on September 21st. She is so freaking adorable. And also, Pharrell Williams and his wife, Helen, announced baby number two. The couple already has a son together who is seven-year-old Rocket. I'm so happy for these two and can't wait to see the baby. So say it ain't so, but Brad and Angelina are getting a divorce actually is getting really messy. So first of all, Angelina was the one who signed the papers to get the divorce, basically. There are rumors going around that Angelina was tired of Brad's drinking and drug use. Like, how crazy is that? There are even rumors that he abused one of their children, and that is their oldest, Maddox. And also, Angelina is actually filing for sole custody of all of her children. I would have never expected this from this couple. That's crazy. Kylie, if this isn't a red flag to end this relationship, I don't know what else to tell you. So, Tyga is actually being sued by Jeweler to the Stars, Jason Oshman. He apparently owes Jason $270,000, and with all the extravagant gifts he's recently been buying Kylie, the jeweler is kind of like, so why are you not paying me back? Which is why Kylie is coming into court to be questioned about Tiger's finances. Mm. So let's get into some curvy news. So designer, model, blogger, Nadia, you know, the sexy, beautiful blogger that I love so much. She actually just premiered her collaboration with Additional at New York Fashion Week. How exciting is that? So on September 14th, Nadia's collaboration with Additional premiered at New York Fashion Week and her clothing dropped on September 20th on the additional website. The prices range from $48 to $148, and the sizes are 0X to 4X. These pictures are also of Nadia wearing her own clothing line. They're really amazing, really cute, and I'm excited. I love it. Ashley Graham is on Self Magazine this month. So Ashley Graham is on this month's issue of Self Magazine, just letting everyone know that health comes in all shapes and sizes, and I am here for it. Don't forget to check out her collection at Dress Barn called Beyond. She just added some really, really amazing, cute dresses that I will be purchasing. So a new big man's fashion company Valor is making history at New York Fashion Week. So Valor is a company created by designer Troy Atkins. This is the first big men's line to ever debut at New York Fashion Week. I am so impressed with the clothing. It looks really nice, really cool. I definitely want to see my man in it. He made a big debut having actors Jamal Gravy Woodard, also loving hip hop's Cisco and rapper Big Trail, and everything looks amazing. So 
So now it's time for the makeup news, and I'm kind of excited. Makeup news is like crazy because the holiday season is coming up so every brand is just putting out their new makeup so i got some tea on three of the ones that i really really like and let's go wet and wild holiday 2016 collection is coming out ladies and let me tell you it's affordable products and it's an amazing product so i'm really excited about so this wet and wild holiday collection includes nail polish glosses lashes pigments and highlighters and it's in stores now i'm super excited about that highlighting gold bar colored rain a black owned makeup company just came out with the queen of hearts eyeshadow palette and y'all it is so beautiful. this palette is actually limited edition it has six matte eyeshadows and also six foiled eyeshadows it's coming out December. I saw swatches of Color Rain eyeshadows, and their eyeshadows are super pigmented. I can't wait to get my hands on this. House of Lashes introduces their new lashes, Knockout Lashes. So House of Lashes, a new style Knockout Lashes are synthetic hair, and they run about $12. I think it's amazing because they teamed up with Keep A Breast, which is a nonprofit organization that support and educate women on breast health. If you bought one during the month of October, you will be donating a dollar to this organization, and I think that is amazing. So now let's get into my fashion faves, and I'm so excited because it is the Emmy Red Carpet. Hello. Okay, so first up is Tracy Ellis Ross, and I thought she looked so pretty and so goddess-like, and honestly, her smile just makes this look even better. Anika's dress, I love because of the top, like those draping details, like it just fits so beautifully. Yara is just wearing this really cute, like, modest, like, but still gorgeous, age-appropriate. I love the white. I love the detail. Perfect. So I love the Zuhair Marad dress that Kristen Bell is wearing. I love the details, and I think the top fits so beautifully. I love this dress. It was something about this dress that I think it because it looks like sparkles, even though it's like polka dots. And I love the sheer bottom. I love the length and the fit. So cute. Laverne Cox just looks effing sexy. Like, she looks gorgeous. I love her hair. I love the gold. She looks stunning. Love it. Claire Danes in this dress, like, I think, really, honestly, it's the gold that's standing out to me. And I love, like, that middle detail, how it comes from her neck. So beautiful. This was, like, my favorite look. Like, Kristen Dunst looks so freaking gorgeous in this Hulk Couture Givenchy. I love her side, hair to the side. Looks so beautiful. Parinka, like, the red color, the draping, the Grecian goddess look. She looks so freaking cute. Ariel Winter never disappoints me. She is one who always shows her curves off. She looks so gorgeous. I love this dress so much. This is Molly Gates, and I just love the details of this dress. I love the color. It looks really, like, the silver blue looks really pretty with her blonde hair, and I love it. This dress was, like, the surprise, but honestly, the white, the black, the red lip, the details, I just really love this look. I think it's so cute. Let's get into my monthly favorites. I have a couple this month of September. I had some really good ones this month. So first up is new to me, but not new to the hair industry. And that is the Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer. I really like this one because it does have a medicated smell, but the it's really light. It's not strong. If you know anything about the Wild Growth items, they also have an oil that comes in a white bottle that smell is strong too i also use that um but this one is kind of subtle to me in my opinion and it doesn't weigh my hair down which i really love and my hair you know i have my natural hair out i'm letting it you know oops i'm letting it breathe and you know 
everything like that. But I really, really love this stuff. And um, it wasn't expensive. And I'll get more into this because I will be doing an updated natural hair care routine. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But love this month. Next are some ColourPop products. First of all is the ColourPop matte lipstick and this is the color beeper i really really love this color it's a nude but it has like a pinky tone to it and i really love it like if y'all saw my color pop unboxing you saw swatches of this also if you're on if you go on my instagram at welcome to the plus side you'll see i wore this lipstick before and it's just amazing color and i really love it on my skin tone next this is bae y'all and that is a lip gloss this is a cream yeah, this is a cream gloss, and it is the color WeHo. It is a nude. I love this. I actually put down my Kylie Jenner lip glosses because of this. I just really love it. It has more of, like, a lip oil kind of feel, and I really love the color. I love the creamy because it's more opaque, and this is bomb. I carry this in my pocketbook all the time. Love it. Next is this little beauty right here. And I'll show you the little tip of it because that's the color. And that is my ColourPop eyeliner. And this is the color Get Paid. I really, really love this, especially in my waterline. I don't know what it is about me and gold, especially because my eyes are brown. I love the combination of that. I love putting really pretty colored um, eyeliner in my waterline. So this is bomb. And yeah, that is all my September favorites for so this month. So that is it for me for this month. I hope you really enjoyed this newscast. I am signing off. Your anchor woman, AJ Marie. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you next month. Brad and Angelina divorce? Are you serious? Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Oh, no. Angelina lips. Did I nail it? Nailed it. She crazy. I ain't staying with that dog. Somebody called me talking about some. Oh, I need to talk about your man finance. <laughs> no, no. You don't need to talk to me. <laughs> Any don't go chasing waterfalls. Please. My forehead is so freaking huge, y'all. Like, this is a five head. This is. Why is it so, and then it got nerve to be shiny because, you know, I got that T-zone oh. Alright, anyway. Y'all still love me if my forehead big, right? Let's, let's try to put the bang. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. There's something no more. Will somebody please, please tell me what's wrong? What I, I look like, uh, I look like I, not. <laughs>